I'm Samuel Ginn. This is engineering. This is Auburn. Sam Ginn has accomplished so much in his lifetime, and it all started in a small town in Northeast Alabama. I grew up in Anniston, Alabama. Uh, my parents uh, were hardworking people. Uh, uh, I don't think my dad ever earned over $150 a week. But let me tell you what they had. They had fabulous values, and they tried to instill those values into my sister and I. Well, Sam is a wonderful brother now, but <laughs> growing up, I, we couldn't be left alone. He would, I had to run the whole time my mother and father were gone, because he would chase me. And we'd run through flowers, and neighbors would complain, and we fought a lot. <laughs> At least I ran a lot. We had family reunions every year, and we're huggers, and and so we've always been close as a family. And uh, I think um, uh, that gave us a tremendous start. And when you add to that uh, the community we grew up in, uh, it, it uh, gave me a real advantage in life. Uh, we went to Aniston High School together. He was a basketball player and I was a tennis player. Uh, all the pretty girls were in his class, so we, uh, we kind of invaded his class to, for dates and so we would know each other that way. He was a real leader in the school. He was uh, president of the senior class and he's president of his high Y chapter. And uh, he was a cheerleader and, uh, he, and he was voted most, uh, most popular boy in the class. Well, I think once he got out of high school, he became more serious about what life would be and what he needed to do in life to make a, himself successful. Uh, after he got to Auburn, I, I saw a big change in him and I think he was, he was, knew that he had to get an education. I really went to work. I studied uh, seven days a week my freshman year and by the time I graduated I was in Phi Kappa Phi, the top scholastic honorary. But it wasn't easy. I mean, I was not prepared to come to Auburn academically. I think socially I was fine. <laughs> but, but academically, uh, which is really important around this place, I was not prepared. So I had to make up for it, and it was a real challenge. But somehow, I did it. You know, he never thought anybody was going to give him anything. It was going to be hard work that got him where he needed to get. He is unappreciated in terms of the impact, not only that he's had on the College of Engineering, but on the university, I think. So my career really never stopped. I was one of the youngest vice presidents in AT&T's history, and then when uh, the Bell system was broken up, I ended up in California and ended up CEO of that company. And then I spun off the wireless assets and built a, a wireless company around the world. I moved my family 12 times. Uh, to achieve all that, and my wife deserves immense credit for keeping that family going and keeping the kids in school and out of trouble and so on and so forth. I was traveling around the world. Success followed Sam throughout his career, culminating in the sale of his company AirTouch to Vodafone. Once completed, his thoughts now shifted to how he could best help those that helped him. I had been thinking about uh, my obligations back to those who had helped me along the way. And of course, Auburn uh, pops up as uh, number one on my list. And well, the industry I'm in, wireless engineering, I mean, it's gonna grow, it's gonna, it, it, it'll be larger 20 years from now than it is today. So perhaps what I can do for Auburn is fund a, a degree program that gives kids coming up through that system have great career opportunities. When Sam made his gift um, in 2001, it was the largest single gift that any university in this state had ever received. Well, you know, I look at someone like Sam Ginn, someone who has literally changed the world. He's changed the way that we communicate 
And he's done it with such grace and such integrity and such dignity. And I've watched him and the way that he interacts with people and the way that he treats people. He has been a role model for me. Sam meant a lot to me in, in many areas. Uh, his numerous management skills, his uh, personal uh, traits, uh, his ability to uh, be steady in his uh, determination and, and uh, executing objectives, uh, and in his uh, uh, own personal life, uh, it was always graced by uh, being uh, uh, steadfast in, in his pursuit of any course of action, and uh, that being his business or his personal life. You know, one thing about my father is he may not be, well, no, I, I better not say that. Well, what I was going to say was one thing about my father is he may not be the smartest man in the room, but he's going to out-prepare you. He will be ready and prepared. He's very disciplined. When we lived in California, he, he was on several boards, but he was on Hewlett Packard board. And he came straight from a Hewlett Packard board meeting to my son's little preschool production. And he sat down next to me, and I loved what he said. It's, I still think about it. He, he just said, ah, oh, life is rich. You know, he just came from this high-powered meeting, and now he's at this preschool play, and he, he could appreciate both for what they were. Sam believes that a good set of values help you make important life decisions. And for him, a good place to turn is a few beautiful lines that help guide the entire Auburn family. Uh, occasionally I go back and read the Auburn Creed because uh, to me it, it defines Auburn and if you live by it, I think your prospects of having a successful life as opposed to a successful career are, are really great. So, so this place prepared me, gave me the foundation to go out and compete in the business world. He truly showed everybody else what it meant to be a servant leader. And yes, he gave so much financially to Auburn, but he gave of his time and his energy. And because of that and all of those things, he's made our university, the university that we love, so much stronger and better. When you approach important life's decisions, it seems to me what you do is you always feel comfortable that whatever decision you make is made in the, in the sense of what are my values and who am I. If you do that, uh, I, I, th I think you come out a winner.